यहाँ पे एक कुत्ते थे बच्चों ने सत्या नाश कर दिया वो साइड इन माय सिंगल चैट टुडे वी गॉट ब्रांड न्यू इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट जीटीए सिक्स ट्रेलर टू वी गॉट लुसिया बुडाई लीक इट अप वी गॉट न्यूज़ अबाउट द प्री ऑर्डर लेट्स गो फॉर टू लाइक्स ऑन द वीडियो एंड लेट्स चेक इट आउट रोल इट वी हैव ब्रांड न्यू इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट जीटीए सिक्स ट्रेलर टू रिलीज डे अलोंग विद द पोटेंशियल सॉन्ग एंड आर्टिस्ट बीइंग यूज्ड दैट वी एक्चुअली फाउंड अर्ली ऑन टॉप ऑफ न्यू इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट द या ब्रो देयर इज लाइक होल लॉट ऑफ हराम डॉग गाइस Do not rewind the video, bro. Whatever you do, stay focused. Don't rewind the video. PS5 Pro release date and specs for GTA 6, along with more announcements from Take Two CEO on everything GTA 6 related. Yeah. You guys are not gonna want to miss. Yeah, also, like make sure to add us on Snapchat. A link to it is. Two's upcoming investor meetings and confirmation that there will in fact not be any delays for their release dates and plans that we will be uh, wrong. Yo, <laughs> guys, seriously, don't hold your breath, man. It might also get delayed to 2026, though. <gasps> We're talking Rockstar Games. I hope that doesn't happen, though. But you never know, man. Revealing later in the video. For starters, it was tweeted saying GTA 6's next announcement is expected to be in May, right before Take Two's final quarter earnings call, where they will. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because like. Uh, we listened to their february investor call and during that call laney was saying uh, you know one of their uh, workers at take two she did say that yeah in may they're going to be revealing their future plans and it's very likely that in may we might also get the official release date for gta 6 and it looks like it's going to be in 2025 but uh, you never know man whatever rockstar says and confirms it can still be delayed i mean look at gta 5 and red dead redemption 2 right for the full fiscal year 24 results and reveal their entire plan and pipeline for fiscal year 25 which will basically be any video game released now up until April of next year. To further yeah, go with this take nah. to CFO Lenny Goldstein Wrong. also said in a new Q&A earnings call earlier this month that they still expect fiscal year 25 to be massive with a 7 billion dollar net bookings and a groundbreaking pipeline. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They they did say that but uh, also they have changed the GTA 6 release period from being fiscal 2025 to calendar 2025 oh, shit. and for the normies out there what this means here is that fiscal 2025 basically means that you know GTA 6 can come out between now and by the end of March 2025 essentially before April of 2025 calendar 2025 i guess the normies already know that's like january to december and they actually changed the wording why is that because they're likely not confident enough to release gta 6 by march of 2025 so uh yeah i would not hold my breath for gta 6 releasing by march 2025 i hope it does release i want it like the video if you want it but guys uh you i guess you already know man it's uh we're rockstar we're ro we're talking about rockstar here guys. which i think confirms that gta 6 will in fact not be delayed with any issues at all because if there was going to be any delays they definitely would not confirm to investors that the game would still be dropping and they would not be expecting 7 billion in net bookings without the That's game That's true release. but the direct quote from her is actually calendar. very interesting it says at this time the number is tracking a little above 7 billion for net bookings for the year and given the typical Damn. shifts in tweak yeah y'all like is are think, thinking about 7 making 7 billion dog like your players are torturing them themselves themselves playing your games give everybody that's watching this video that's smashing the like button a hundred dollars right now everybody i don't care i don't care like give everybody a hundred dollars right now immediately just for playing your game and torturing themselves playing your game with all them char cards that are in your game like the video if you agree bro things that occur in our forecasting process this amount is still huge growth over this year and our pipeline is groundbreaking for next year and beyond teams are making excellent progress on game development and nothing material has changed with regard to the lifeline and value of our portfolio so Wrong. again that is really good news for us the players They are not going to have to rush anything. There's no delays and they're still making sure everything Yeah. No, honestly guys, like listen, jokes aside though, do not seriously like if you're thinking thinking that this game is going to come out early 2025, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Think about this way, okay? If it does end up coming out early 2025 and you were expecting it to not come out early 2025, bro, you're going to exceed your expectations. You're going to fire so much dopamine dog like you, you, you know your dopamine receptor is going to light up like a Christmas tree though. So it's going to be a good thing, but because based on what they're saying, it feels like that it's going to be not coming out early 2025. And quite frankly, you never 
never know, man. It can they can these things can delay to 2026 though. Let's be real. We're talking Rockstar games, guys. So definitely don't hold your breath. I want to know your thoughts for sure. It's going to be top quality and polished for the launch, since this is literally going to be the biggest video game launch in true, existence. True, 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 now, true. in terms of official Big. updates and announcements, we actually have a pretty good date set coming okay. from GTA 6. And do we have like any more Lucia Burda leaking out or what? Like Countdown who tweeted saying the May announcement doesn't necessarily have to be trailer 2, but it could in fact be new yeah. screenshots, pre-orders, or a release date. Man. Okay, screenshots are gonna be good, but like, what are we gonna see in screenshots? We're just gonna see more pom pom, more burna, this and that, dog. We already have seen Get. Change your your Sega's name to Get Theft Auto. Rockstar Games, nah, Get Games. You know what I mean? Like, we saw that, dog. Like, let's be real. Like, screenshots are good. I want them too, but nah, bro. As a brown man, I demand gameplay reveal. As a brown man, I demand trailer too. As a brown man, I demand pre-orders going live. As a brown man, I demand GT Online getting revealed immediately and us getting that. And, and you know what? Forget about all, of that, uh, all of that. Scratch that. As a brown man, I demand for the game to release right now. Like the video if you agree. Date. Similar to what Rockstar did with Red Dead Redemption's 2 build up and launch, where they actually announced the official release date to be in spring 2018, right before their final quarter earnings call, which is what we're actually coming up on now, which is why mm. people think they are going to be following a similar schedule and theme, especially because with GTA 6's trailer 1 release, it actually lined up with the pipeline and how they released Red Dead 1 and Red Dead 2. So Rockstar uh -huh. is obviously uh -huh. following a blueprint that yeah. seems to work very They're following this kind of blueprint guys this is the blueprint they're following like uh, you know they're just they have been taking notes what else can I say like this is why we had so much pom pom in the the GTA 6 trailer guys don't chase a pom pom chase your dreams okay uh, but man I am worried guys I truly am worried before we talk about like what else happened and where is the Lucia Bruna and all that I'm like worried that they're gonna emasculate Jason Bruh. I, I, cause I feel like that Lucia is gonna be strong, independent, but I'm worried that Jason might be, you know, a feminine guy in the game. I don't want that. I want Lucia to be strong, feminine character, and I want Jason to be having that strong and masculine character. Like the video if you agree, cause I'm kind of worried that they might emasculate our boy Jason though. Very well. And while we're on the topic of Trailer 2 and possible release dates, it was also just found by some crazy detectives here in the GTA community that a potential artist and song could be used for Trailer 2, and if we found it early, that would be hilarious. It all started when Billy's Liam GTA tweeted, saying, Breaking Anita Ward's Spotify profile banner has been changed and updated <laughs> to GTA 6's current logo, which this literally just uh, happened a few days ago. I don't know how- Oh man, the internet detectives i love the internet detectives man they find literally everything they can they even found out like who hacked the the gta 6 uh, gameplay right before rockstar find out right which was crazy though how people found this so quickly this is a somewhat popular artist but nothing crazy where a lot of people yeah. are listening to her on the daily so obviously this is a big hint an artist would not switch their thing to an unreleased video game true, logo true, true, unless true, they true. had some direct correlation with the game itself either in promotion or having true, their music true, true. be used which in this case seems to be the most likely. One of the replies to this tweet that I thought was very fascinating also went on to say specifically for the song Ring My Bell 2. Listening to it and it definitely gives Leonita vibes. Re okay, to be honest though, I do agree that the artist changed uh, that to, uh, the banner to that GTA 6 logo. That's like definitely a hint and that's like a, sus a suspect. Hell, a suspect. I do agree, but let's be real. Like a lot of a lot of the GTA community also felt like that. You know, blinding lights is gonna be <laughs> GTA 6. That bl listening to blinding lights makes me give gives me Leonida GTA Y City wise. Let's be real. And what happened? It was not in the game. That's not. That's like Rockstar says, Bumble Club. Like f all that, you know. Reaching hard here, but I'm gonna get on some hopium and say that this is the trailer two song. Unfortunately, we don't know if That's this hopium. song is actually copyright on YouTube. But if you guys want to go listen to it, it is called "Ring My Bell" by. But, but I, I mean, this is a good hint, though. It's hella suspect that yeah, she changed the 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 the, ba the banner though. So I'll say that. Yeah, yeah. It's on her Spotify, one of her more popular songs. And after I listened to it, it did actually sound like a song 
song that Rockstar could easily use for a really upbeat and happy vibe-ish trailer for GTA 6 trailer 2. It makes sense. Along with her banner being updated, I think this is the most likely, but it also could be Rockstar throwing another curveball at us and leading yep, us off the yep, path. Yep, now, we've yep. also had some other interesting facts and pieces of information come out over these oh, last few no. weeks that actually predict some of the stuff coming in GTA oh, 6. For starters, this is coming from Joe at GTA 6 Info over on Twitter who tweeted a picture Joe comparing who? the uh, Joe who? Who Joe? Joe? Joe Mama? Joe Mama? Is that Joe Mama? Script size of GTA 3 and GTA 5. What? Here are the scripts of GTA 3 and GTA 4 side by side. Just imagine how big the script of GTA 6 will be. Damn, son. It was just like a couple of... <laughs> it was just a couple of... Uh, you know, this was like the school project and this turned out to be like... Uh, oh my goodness. So yeah, I mean, games definitely have, uh, you know, take... They, they definitely have increased uh, in file sizes that I have to have side by side and it basically just really makes you realize how much dialogue how much script and just how yeah, much larger yeah, scale yeah. GTA 5 was compared to the older titles and the reason I bring this up is because there is a big possibility that once GTA 6 is released with how expansive and large this game is going to be there's a chance that we could get an image of the GTA 5 script up against the GTA 6 and it's literally going to be like this one where GTA 6 just makes the GTA 5 script look extremely Small. This also yep. confirms that the storyline is going to be absolutely massive with tons of missions, tons of dialogue, and this really confirms that there should be a lot of side quests dealing with NPCs since the more dialogue, usually the more random characters will interact and talk with you in game. This is very likely mainly because it's also what they did with the launch of GTA 5, where for the first month, GTA Online was actually locked, locked. and not yeah. playable yeah. on the yeah. new title. It gives everyone a chance. And, and I truly wonder, right? Like, are they going to do the same thing this time around? Or not and i hope they do right because i think it's gonna give everybody like good time to just jump in the single player finish the game beat the game uh find like easter eggs do the side missions you know you uh, talk about youtube uh, or, or, or i mean like watch videos on the youtube and uh and make videos as well if you're a youtuber or if you want to make videos right i think it's gonna be a really really good discussion it's gonna be good for discussion good good it's gonna be good for the community good for the game and then you know what Everybody's gonna be anticipating the GTA 6 online drop and when it does it's gonna be insane I hope it works because GTA 5 online when it dropped it did not work for solid a uh, couple of months uh, All the way back in 2013 right they meant to drop it on October the 1st and I remember it did not work It just flopped that uh, day one the servers just did not work and, and I also wonder when are they gonna reveal online because the thing about this way right if the if GTA 6 is really supposed to come out like early 2025 as like like they are saying i don't think it's gonna but let's just assume it's gonna right then we should be getting like trailer to like by may okay uh, should be getting like more screenshots we should get the the release date by trailer two in may and then by the like by let's just say september october november we should get like online and gameplay reveal though because think about it right the game is due for like march 2025 but i don't think that's realistic though honestly it's still still a chance there's still a chance but realistic I think May 2, uh, May, uh, not May 2, I mean, in May we might get trailer 2 or screenshots and release date confirmation by the end of this year we might get gameplay reveal but then like early 2025 instead of us getting the game that's when we get the the online reveal to us right like march by march we get gta online reveal and then the game comes out like around summertime or september of 2025 which already a lot of you are expecting like i've been reading a lot of comments and a lot of people already believe that this game is going to be coming out like september october of 2025 and if they delay it then that's going to be a different conversation but i i do believe that this is a lot more real realistic uh le surely let me know your thoughts for in the comments to do the sure. entire story mode or at least play a good bit of it learn the map get the basics before gta online comes out and all yeah, the absolute yeah, nonsense yeah. starts happening along with this there's also been rumors of a bunch of different side activities we're going to be able to do in gta 6 like boxing basketball golf bowling we're also going to be able to Bowl. go to the casino which shouldn't be Bowl. anything new we were able to do that in the older titles and some do, do not gamble kids even if it's in gta other side activities uh, or you can gamble in GTA. Yeah. Don't gamble in real life. As well. So let me know down in the comments of all the different possible side activities. Sports. And recently we had a ton of like gameplay leaks that actually came out. Click on this video on the screen. This is one of those videos that you must check it out. We had a ton of leaks in this one and I will see you right there.